Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Today we have a viewer request to craft baking tools and accessories for your American Girl dolls. See how to make a spatula, whisk and cooking bowls, jars of sprinkles, a set of measuring spoons and piping bag. Everything your doll needs to make yummy treats. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So let's get making! For sizing we referenced an AG spatula from our collection. Start with a rectangle of paperboard. At one corner make tick marks half a centimetre up and along the sides. Draw a curve to connect them. Next measure in half a centimetre from the top edge and draw another curved line to the bottom edge. Cut along your lines to get the spatula template. For the spatula handle, measure and cut 8cm from the end of a skinny stick. Glue two together for the required thickness, then paint silver. Place the flat end of your skinny stick in the centre of your template. Trace around it and cut away this section. Now trace your template onto more paperboard. You need two solid pieces and four with a gap. Stack and glue your cutouts as seen on screen. Fill the gap with liquid glue, then insert the handle. Cover with more glue to adhere the top solid piece. When dry, sand the top corners round and smooth out the sides of the paperboard. Next, we gave our spatula an undercoat of white nail polish. It's optional, but for more detail, we cut a star from low tack sticky note paper and placed it near the bottom corner. Paint the spatula again with a soft blue nail polish. It takes a few coats for the polish to achieve complete opacity. When dry, remove the mask. We also painted the base of the handle blue to complete our baking spatula. Next up, the whisk. Cut strips of computer paper, one 5cm wide and the other 4.5cm. Put glue on your wider piece and roll over a barbecue skewer to make a tube. Align the shorter piece to one end and continue wrapping. Seal the end closed, then remove the skewer. This will be the whisk handle. For the head, we cut florist wire into two 12cm long pieces. So they are uniformed, bend the wire over a thick marker. Put liquid glue or hot glue in the top of the tube and insert your first wire. Slip the second piece over top, pushing the ends into the tube, making sure the wires cross. Add a drop of glue to keep the wires in place and more inside the tube to fill any gaps. Paint the whisk red. So we can hang the whisk. Wrap more florist wire over a scrap of dowel or pencil to make a ring, then twist the ends together. Fill the bottom of the handle with liquid or hot glue and insert the hook. Once the glue has dried, paint the handle silver. To make a set of measuring spoons, we searched our pantry for empty blister packs of cough drops. Look for a variety of sizes to replicate the descending size of measuring spoons. Cut out one from each packet, then carefully cut around the edge. If needed, remove the foil. For a handle, cut a 3cm length off the curved end of a skinny stick. With a piercing tool, make a small hole near the top curve so we can thread through the florist wire. To join the spoon and handle, we used strong E6000 glue, but you can also use hot glue for this step. Paint your measuring spoons. We chose to use spray paints in colours that matched AG's Baking Essentials set. Next, take your florist wire and thread on the spoons, placing the biggest first and finishing with the smallest spoon. With the spoons nesting inside each other, bend the wire into a ring, twist the ends closed and clip off any excess. These adorable doll size measuring spoons are ready for use. Let's make a piping bag from fabric, cotton balls and the cap from a takeout soy sauce bottle. With acrylic paint or nail polish, paint your cap silver. For the bag section, measure, mark and cut a white fabric circle 12.5 cm in diameter. Inside this, measure and mark a smaller circle about 10 cm in diameter. Using a simple in and out straight stitch, sew around the inner ring, but do not clip your thread just yet. Fold your fabric into half then into quarters. Cut just a tiny piece from the top corner. 
To attach the piping tip, put hot glue around the base of your cap. Push the cap through the hole in your fabric circle. Flip upside down and fill with your cotton ball. Gather the fabric over the cotton ball, then pull the thread to close the bag. Stitch through the gather a few times to secure the closure, then knot and cut your thread. We have these clear plastic tubes in our stash. They are a great size for sprinkle jars at 3.5cm tall and 1.5cm wide. Seal one end of the tube with hot glue. Once dry, you can peel off any excess from the rim. Next, cut a 1cm wide strip of specialty corrugated scrapbook paper. Wrap and glue around the top of the tube. Now we can fill our tube with small crafting beads, clay embellishments, sequins, glitter or even cut up pieces of craft foam. Put a line of hot glue around the rim and close the bottle with a circle of paperboard. Make more sprinkle jars to fill the kitchen cupboard. For doll sized mixing bowls, we bought these mini plastic bowls at our supermarket. They have a 6.5cm diameter and a 3cm high. To match with our other crafts, we spray painted the bowls blue and pink. We also found these mini wooden spoons at Choice Dollar Store. They are the perfect size for our AG dolls. Now the dolls are all set to bake in the new chic country kitchen. If you haven't already, subscribe to Always Dolls and hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!